My name is Keaton Solman, and today, as your host, it is my great pleasure to introduce you to one of the core values of the WCA. It is a humble honor today to be introducing to you a young artist from Durban, South Africa. He is a very humble, loving, kind and caring individual who loves to express the emotion which is within him in his art. This is his way of expressing his love and emotions through his work. Today, this artist's name is Shaivan Reddy and he wants to express what perseverance means to him. My sincere Hari Oms to one and all, may this find you with peace and warmth. My name is Shyavan Reddy and I am simply an individual who loves to create art. Upon given the theme of perseverance, the only medium to which I can explain this, this word or feeling is through the medium of art. Through expression of digital painting, acrylic painting and charcoal works. The idea of perseverance expressed through art is something that every artist has to go through. From the point of beginning an artwork to even a few years later where they come back to the artwork and realize that they never really were finished. And in the journey of art, to have perseverance is to have faith in the work that you are creating. An artist will never create if they themselves do not feel the work within them. And in that lies their faith and their belief that they will reach a stage with their creation that satisfies their soul or helps them achieve states of awe or to take it further and allows it to be meditation to them and this is commonly seen when an artist begins a work and you encounter many downfalls along the way you start doubting yourself, you start questioning your choices you start rethinking certain mediums that you should have used or could have used you start comparing yourself to others and it's all part of the the journey of the growth and we have to learn to trust the process and to almost detach yourself from that and just allow your your flow state to take over to let yourself become simply a vessel for the divine to flow through and when we tap into that flow state we find that Time itself seems to dissolve away into nothingness and we reach this eternal gate where all we can see is the light, to be honest. And, and in that state we, we become truly present, truly in the now. And in the now I feel is where perseverance is the most possible is when we are understanding that every step that we take into the darkness will make the light more potent. Every step that we fall, we will have another chance to get back up. Every wrong line that we draw can be turned into something beautiful and will eventually turn itself into the artwork and you will thank yourself later on for making that mistake almost and I think art shows us perseverance at such a human level because the constant determination that is poured into an artwork the hours, the energy the breaths of prana that goes into it the states of focus, the states of awe the emotion that is felt in that moment of creating an artwork, you become 
you become present. Sometimes we we learn more as we're falling and stumbling and, and failing and hitting these obstacles and these difficult points in life and and when we push through it, when we persevere, we allow ourselves the opportunity to to surrender and to grow. It's from it's only from pain to pleasure that we can become self realized and we understand the magic within us all. And and often at times it's well it definitely it's it's much easier said than done, but we will give it a try anyway, you know. We will push through, we will continue, we will make the mistakes, we will fall, we will stumble, we will do whatever. But we will get there eventually. And, and that in itself is just, that in itself is an artwork on its own because we are persevering here to produce an artwork to get it to its final stage, but it in turn is helping us get to a stage of our of our growth as a spirit as a spiritual being entertaining this human skin you know it helps us to commune with the divine it it takes us to existential realms we we question how was this done we we are constantly inspired we are taken away we are pulled by every single thing on this magnificent planet and we end up seeing the beauty in it and that's that's there for us always but it's only when we pour ourselves into focus that we're able to raise our awareness to it and and I think art has the power to do that actually forgive me not I think I know art has the power to do that it does that, it's done that for the greats, it's done that for everyone who sits down and and meditates with the divine. It's it has always done that and it allows us back it allows us to take a step back and see ourselves from a different point of origin and perspective and And we understand that to persevere is to simply keep on going, to keep on keeping on and to not let anything else deter us off our path. And as Rumi would say, if you know we need to walk first and the path will create itself. So we have to have the idea of the end goal in mind. Because what we do as we attract that within our heart right now at this moment if we are constantly praying to help us finish this artwork or help me get that goal or help me achieve this or that or get this car or this house then we at that present moment we have acknowledged that it is not there right here and now so we have to put that energy out there perseverance is one step to it we have to feel that energy we have to feel that art was being completed right here and right now, even though you didn't even put pen to paper. You just have to feel it all. I think feeling is believing in. I think perseverance in that same breath. We have to feel ourselves persevering, pushing on, continuing, facing the sun every time, and just simply enjoying what we do and being present in what we do.